Good morning, Monomoy. Today is May 3rd and is a day 7 in the schedule. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for some news. Ever since the new police station opened on George Ryder Road 12 years ago, an Osprey pair is nested in the radio tower adjacent to the building. Because of their proximity to Chatham Municipal Airport, however, the Osprey have been evicted from their longtime home. Although removed once, the Osprey are very tenacious nest builders, said Lieutenant Andrew Goddard. The airport commission has decided to put anti-perching devices in order to prevent them from continuing to come back. That's all for news. Now off to Neva with some weather. Thanks, Nick. Now for the weather. Currently, it's 50 degrees and cloudy with south winds up to 10 miles per hour. There is going to be a high of 56 and low of 44. The humidity is 68% and there is a 24% chance of precipitation. Now to the five-day forecast. On Thursday, we will have some showers with high of 47 and low of 43. The rest of the week seems mostly sunny. Sunday looks like a perfect day to get outside. That's all for the weather. Now to Connor with some announcements. Thank you, weather lady. Hello once again, Monomoy. I've got some announcements for you, so please do listen up. Monomoy for All is gathering anonymous student submissions about the unique experiences our students have related to race, gender, sexual orientation, ability, socioeconomic status, I don't have any more fingers, native language, hidden disability, unique families, and the many, many, many more characteristics that make you, you. The goal of these stories is to find the barriers that appear in the Monomoy educational system and work to erase resulting gaps in learning, development, happiness, and safety for our students. Your submissions will be fully anonymous unless you choose otherwise. These first-hand stories will help our school community better understand the real experiences of our students. If you're interested in the council efforts, looking for advice in the realm of equity, or wish to start a conversation we are missing, please email equity at monomoy.edu. Audiobook Sync is back. Each week from now until August 2nd, you can grab two, I said two, free audiobooks. This week's theme is Freedom to Know. Are you interested? Check out the 2023 Audiobook Sync Padlet on the library website. Interact Club students will be visiting classrooms during JOSM the week of May 8th, collecting donations for the Suicide Awareness Walk. No, do no donation is too small. Also, please consider joining Monway Interact's team at the walk on May 20th in Hyannis. See Ms. Doyle or Ms. Casey for more information. Come join us in celebrating the Visual and Performing Arts Department Seniors of the Class of 2023 at our annual Senior Arts Night. Thursday, May 11th, 2023, art shows at 6 p.m. and the film and concert at 7 p.m. Don't miss it. Ms. Carey and the Cape Cod Dart League would like to invite you and anyone else who is interested in playing in the Youth Dart Tournament on Sunday, May 21st. The tournament will be located at Brewster Pizza, located in Brewster, off 6A behind Cumberland Farms. Signups will be no later than 12.30 for the first round and, and that starts at 1 p.m. There are posters around the school with more information or you can contact Ms. Carey at krobinson at monomoy.edu. There will be trophies, plaques, gift cards, swag bags, and more given out, and there is no cost for this tournament. Our Monomoy shout-out for today is tennis star Patrick McMahon. You already know what to do. If you see him in the halls, please remind him that, no, Patrick, eating nothing but skills for a month straight will not turn you rainbow-colored. If you have any friends you want to put on the announcements, Please email your submissions to cfrancis24 at monomoy.edu with a funny photo and a reminder. That's all I've got for you, Monomoy. Now, off to Steven with the sports. Thanks, Connor. Monday was a busy day for the Sharks with almost every spring, spring sport having a game. Softball lost to Sturgis East 5-7, but baseball had a dominant win against DY 12-2. Girls Lacks beat Bourne with a score of 17-12, but the boys lost 11-8. Tennis also faced Boren, with the boys losing 3-2 and the girls winning 5-0. Finally, the girls' golf team improved their record to 7-1, with a win against DY, 3.5 to 2.5. For today's games, softball is home against Nauset, while baseball goes off Cape to face Rising Tide. Tennis matches up against CCA, with girls at home and boys away. All games start at 4. Good luck to everyone playing. That's it for today's show. Have a good one, Monomoy.